So now let's see how we can work around with color halftone effect inside a photo P. So to do that, you need to go around onto filter, onto pixelate, and then choose color halftone. So once you do that, you can see that it seems as if you are printing something on a paper. You can change around the radius of the color halftone right here to change around the level of detail right here, just like this. For example, the color halftone is now four pixels. You can also go around type in two right here, just like this, but it um, just sticks it out to four right here. You can also go around type in the number of the color halftone size right here, just like this. So let's just go around and make it five pixel right here. Let me just press Ctrl Z and go around onto filter on to pixelate and go for color halftone again. So apart from that, you can also go around and change around the angle of the color halftone. So let's just go around, change around the angle, and you can see that the angle of the halftone changes up. You can also change around the angle two and angle three right here, and the halftone changes accordingly right here, just like this. Apart from that, you can also go around over here onto, let's say for example, onto pixelate and here you can see that crystallize is an option so once you go around onto crystallize you can change around the cell size as you can see right here just like this so this is applied on top of half tone right here so let's just press ctrl z right here and then go around onto pixelate onto crystallize and this is the cell size that you have right here just like this as you can see and that is how you can go ahead and then work around with color half tone and crystallize effect inside a photo P. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.